I feel sick about it. Well, I think it's a disgusting, um, it's a sham. Well, I think there's a lot of money wasted. No, I don't think they're managing our money at all. And uh, I think their priorities aren't very good. The, the deficit is a real problem, but you can only tax people so much. Well, I agree that t adding more taxes is not the solution. My major concern is just the mismanagement of funds, and that just happens on all three levels. It's just pathetic. Mm -hmm. I know they're overspending, for sure. I don't think I'm getting good value for it. Clearly, the way things are, things are going, we can't spend out of control. No one else can do it uh, in their private lives, so I can't see how uh, the government thinks they can continue to do it. My kids won't survive it. I will, but they won't. If you could send a message today to Ottawa, all the MPs and the Prime Minister, what would you tell them? Slow down on the spending. Right. Definitely slow down on the spending. We can't afford it anymore. These people are right. We just can't afford it anymore. Hello and welcome to Stop the Digging. I'm Ezra Levant. Canadians from coast to coast are upset. They're concerned and angry about the way our federal government taxes and spends their hard-earned dollars. Joining our studio audience today to help us answer some of these questions is Mr. Preston Manning, the leader of the Reform Party of Canada. Preston, welcome to the show today. Thank you, Ezra. I guess right off the top of my head, the question is, just how big is this deficit problem and why is it a problem? Well, Ezra, it is a huge problem. We have a chart here that shows the accumulative deficits. The red ones are the deficits and debts run up by the Liberals, and the blue ones are the ones run up by the Conservatives. And you'll notice in the last number of years, the, the deficit has been running 30 to $35 billion a year. The federal government has been overspending by that amount. And the accumulative effect of that has been to run up a national debt uh, federal debt in the vicinity of 450 billions of dollars and if you add the provincial and municipal debts to that you end up with a total of 750 billion dollars so that's a pretty big problem how do you feel about living in a country with billions of dollars hundreds of billions of dollars in debt it's really kind of uh, frightening that someday that that has to be dealt with Preston what do you say to people who are frightened about this problem well, I say they've got good reason, Ezra, and there's, there's really three reasons that you ought to be concerned about the deficit and the debt. And the, the first one is that it's the interest payments on this debt that is eating into our social services. Like this top line shows the interest payment portion of the federal budget. You'll notice it's going up. These lower lines show federal support for health care and for higher education. And you'll notice that th this, while this one's going up, those other ones are just on, along the same line and, and starting to go down. Now, it's the uh, interest on the debt that's eating into our capacity to support uh, social programs that are essential to Canadians. 